Hey, this is Jordan from the City Paper. I'm going to show you all how to do a French braid tutorial. This is a great protective hairstyle to use while you're home right now, nor in quarantine. Um, so let's begin. You really just need um, a hair tie, a brush. Um, this is my hair after, after I washed it, and I already brushed it out a little bit. Um, but you're going to want to make sure you really brush it out to get any knots and tangles out because it's going to cause um, going to become a problem when you're trying to braid your hair. Um, you can see I have a lot of hair, so I'm going to brush it again. Okay. Then um, you're going to want to take a like fine tooth comb. This is just the only comb that I have, but if you have a smaller one, um, you'll probably be able to get a better part. Um, and then you're going to take the comb, and wherever you want the part, it can be in the middle, it could be like side, doesn't matter. I'm going to do the middle one to the best of my ability. Um, get a middle part going. And what's nice about right now is since we're home, it doesn't really matter if your part is good or not, because no one's going to see it except for the people that you're quarantined with. So. <laughs> If it looks bad, it's not a big deal. And you're going to make this part go all the way to the back of your head. Um, again, <laughs> I feel like I can't even see. <laughs> again, it doesn't matter if the part is straight or not. Um, and then once you parted it, you're going to want to take one side. I usually like to start with my left side because um, I'm right-handed. You're going to take one side and just Put it up so it's out of the way, like so. Okay, I'm going to brush my hair one more time, <laughs> just because my hair is so thick. I realized that when I was um, doing a part, it was definitely still a little bit tangly, so I might take this and try to get some tangles out. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. So then you're going to want to take a section in the front. Um, my section is about the width of my hand right here. Um, but really it's however, however um, thick you want your braid to be. Um, if your hair is not as thick as mine, maybe you'd want to do a smaller one. Um, just depends on however you want to do it. Oh, I also, I should mention, I put moisturizer, conditioner in my hair, um, lazy even conditioner before this, just to make sure your hair is getting all the moisture that you need, um, that it needs, because uh, um, black hair tends to become very dry, as you probably know if you're watching this video. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this section and break it into three. I can see three sections and it um, is going to be the this is my right section because it's right for me um, but that's left for you middle and left um, so I've right middle and left and I'm going to start by taking the um, right side and exchanging it with the middle and then I'm going to do it again, um, taking the left and exchanging it with the middle. And so that's basically how this braid is going to go, except as you're going down your head, you're going to start picking up more hair. Um, so I'll start over again. Okay, so we got our three sections. I'm going to take the right and exchange it with the middle and then take the left and exchange it with the middle and then after I do that um, one time with each section is when I'm going to start picking up hair. So I'm exchanging the right with the middle and as I do that the middle piece I'm going to grab some extra hair and that middle piece is now the right piece. Okay, 
and now I'm going to move the left into the middle and as I do that I'm going to grab some hair see I didn't brush my hair all the way through so it's still a little bit tangly Okay, um, this side's done. I kind of didn't make this one super tight over here. Um, that's not a big deal because I'm just home and uh, it's actually more comfortable when it's not super loose. Um, so I'm going to take a mini hair tie. Um, I like to use the black ones because my hair is black. If I can get one out. Just tie it off at the bottom. And down on one side. Um, so I'm going to do the other side now. So again, I'm going to start with a section in the front, and I'm going to um, break it into three sections again. Three sections, and then I'm going to take the right one and put it in the middle and then take the left one and put it in the middle and then after I do that okay, so then I'm going to start grabbing sections so um, this right one I'm going to grab this section and exchange it with the middle one and then um, so I always make sure that I'm grabbing hair as I'm um, moving it, moving it out of the middle. So, for example, I am taking this middle one and moving it, um, switching it with the left. So I'm going to grab hair for the left one to hold on to. And then just switch it with the middle. And then as I am taking this right one into the middle, I'm going to grab hair so it has something to go with. And then I'm going to uh, grab hair with the left one, bring it into the middle, like so. And just do that all the way down. So if you notice, this one looks a lot different than um, the braid on this side. And I did this to show you guys two different ways. Um, because if you get comfortable with it, um, and you start up here and go backwards, it will look like this. Versus the other one, I um, kind of was braiding to the side. 
so it looks like this. Um, so you can do whatever you're more comfortable with, and you can see how they look different. Um, one goes all the way back here on this, on this side. Um, I believe that this one is the more traditional French braid, and then this one's called a um, plait. So um, feel free to look up more videos if you feel like this one wasn't helpful. Um, but now you can see kind of the two different styles and maybe, hold on. <laughs> You can um, compare the two different styles and see which one works for you, which one you prefer. Um, one might be easier than another. Um, I think this one is easier to do because you kind of can pull to the side and go like that. But I just think this one looks better. Um, but it's up to you. 